This is Emily Walker, MedPay Today, reporting from Capitol Hill, where the Senate Committee on Environment and Public Works just wrapped up a hearing on disease clusters. After the hearing, I spoke with Dr. Gina Solomon, who's a senior scientist at the Natural Resources Defense Council. The NRDC just released a report that highlighted 42 specific spots in the United States that showed a statistically significant higher incidence of certain diseases, such as cancer and birth defects. We did a survey of 13 states around the country to see whether disease clusters that have been confirmed by federal or state agencies are common or rare. We found 42 disease clusters in these 13 states that had been confirmed. And when we looked into the investigations, it turned out that in most cases, the causes were unknown, but that environmental sources were suspected. And the diseases in these cluster communities varied quite a bit. We identified clusters of uh, multiple types of cancer, especially including childhood cancer, clusters of various types of birth defects, uh, clusters of some neurological diseases, such as amyotrophic lateral sclerosis and multiple sclerosis, and uh, clusters of other diseases, such as polycythemia vera. The cluster that really just sticks with me is in Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, where over 60, I believe it's currently 64 Marines, have been diagnosed with male breast cancer. Uh, these men, you know, often are quite young. Uh, many of them are active duty Marines. Uh, and breast cancer at this rate in, in men is stunning, incredibly unusual. And so there's something going on there. And um, an investigation is ongoing at Camp Lejeune. And I think that it may turn up some very important medical findings. Dr. Solomon said contaminated drinking water at Camp Lejeune could be a possible contributor to the cancer cluster. She said she supports legislation sponsored by Senators Mike Crapo, an Iowa Republican, and Barbara Boxer, a Democrat from California, that would create teams from various government agencies to investigate disease clusters. When asked what doctors can do to help track and investigate clusters, Solomon said physicians should be on the lookout for odd disease trends in their community. Physicians should consider themselves, you know, sentinels um, that, that really can pick up these situations. When, when they see something going on in the community, high rates or unusual patterns of disease, or they find out that a number of the people who are sick with a certain illness all work at the same factory uh, or all live in the same neighborhood, that can be a clue that can lead to new science and um, ultimately to public health protection. And so this is a good reason to take a good history of um, where people work, where they live, what they're exposed to, where their drinking water comes from, and uh, that information can help pinpoint problems and can help move the science forward. From Capitol Hill, this is Emily Walker, MedPage Today.